I want to talk about that uh, the chocolate bar I had. I had a 100 gram, 600 calorie chocolate bar. Now, um, that's not what I should be eating, and uh, and I know that. But I wanted to show you how to deal with these tricks that the mind plays and, and how they come about. So I had a great day. I did loads of training. I went to the gym. I ate really well all morning. And then I come out of the gym and I went to the health food store. When I was in there, I bought a bar of chocolate. And I didn't go in there to get a bar of chocolate. I was driving to pick up my cameras, sorry, my camera lights from a camera shop. All past the health food store, thought number one. I wonder if there's something in there crunchy that I can buy that's healthy. Right. First thing, the only thing that I know of that's that's healthy and crunchy is celery. Second to that is flax crackers, which they never sell because they only sell flax crackers with a little bit of flax and the rest of it is something else, like some of a grain. If you're gonna get flax crackers, they have to be all flax with some sunflower seeds, a little bit of grain, maybe 10, 15%. But most of them, you read the carbohydrate numbers and they're no different from normal crackers. So there is nothing healthy on this planet that you can eat that's, not cr that's crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> apart from celery right at all flax crackers if you make them yourself at home so it's it's, it's a lie basically number two I go in there looking for teas for mum because she's coming to visit and she's getting interested in this new healthy uh, way of living that I'm in, in, encompassing and so she likes chocolate so I think I'll see if just while I'm at the teal I'll see if there's any uh I, first of all, I resisted the crackers because I didn't. I knew. I said what I just said to you. There's nothing in this in this world that's crunchy unless I make it or it's celery. So I got to the till with the teas, and I I go to buy them, and I see healthy chocolate, healthy chocolate, and I look down and I go for them, and I find one that's vegan, no dairy, no sugar. It's got xylitol, which is okay. But what, however you look at it, one bar of that chocolate because they don't make healthy ones in small sizes. One bar of that chocolate is uh, 700 calories, 600 or 700 calories. That's two meals. That's two delicious meals. So Right, so I'm there and I look at the chocolate and I don't even eat chocolate. <laughs> I don't even eat it. I look down and I go, well, I don't eat chocolate, but my mum eats chocolate. So I buy a bar for her. I mean, that is the biggest blag ever, if you're a foodie. Buy the bar, put it in my bag, take it home. Uh, have my delicious meal after the meal. Mmm, I just want some dessert. I know I'll have a line of chocolate. It's only going to be, and I calculate it, 15 grams, 660. That's 120. It's still a lot, 120, but it's a line of chocolate. So I get the line of chocolate. That's the end of the bar. That's the end of the entire bar. So, uh, yeah, there was a slip up today. Um, I'm, I'm not, as I said, I just roll right through it. Now I know another thing. Tomorrow, there is going to be no sugar. There is going to be no sugar products whatsoever. That is the challenge and the commitment for tomorrow. Yeah, no chocolate, no sweets, no div diverting, diverting from what I say I'm going to eat, uh, apart from adjustments to the meal themselves, but no additions that I'm going to bring in, like a healthy chocolate or healthy jam or some other uh, concoction that, that my food mind makes up when I'm in positions of somewhat vulnerability, i.e. after the gym and hungry. So for yourself, the message from this is see these mind tricks that you play, become aware of them and laugh at them and shrug them off and just move on to the next level and don't repeat. And that's it. So I wanted to share that story with you. And now what I'm going to do I've already been to the gym today for two hours, but it's such a beautiful day out, as you can probably see from the sunlight. I'm going to walk up the hill. That's what I'm going to do.